Hey, this is Miracloff, and this is the Hardcore Flat World Challenge. And uh, normally this is the part. Well, okay. Normally this is the part where I say the goal is to collect 80 gold ingots, but it appears that my math on that uh, calculation, because I need 20 gold blocks, is the goal essentially to make a golden menger sponge. But uh, apparently it is come to my attention that my math could be wrong. It's quite likely that I need 180 gold ingots, which to be honest is slightly depressing, as I thought I was pretty much halfway there. And being honest again, once I do get to 80 gold ingots, I'm still going to try and see how many I can craft. Although it was Lego God who uh, informed me of my errors. And I have had many interactions with Lego God, and I know from experience he tends to be more precise. Now, I know I could have uh, gotten a calculator, or perhaps even completed the simple arithmetic in my head, but I choose not to. Uh, it's just too soul-crushing. I'm not going to give up or quit this challenge. I'm just going to continue as I have been. It's not particularly difficult to continue to do so. In fact, I think it would uh, annoy me to give up at this point. But we're going to go ahead and continue onward until I find another NPC village. And here we are. And uh, to uh, counteract the depressing revelation of my error regarding the number of gold ingots I need to collect, uh, I was just thinking of uh, general comedy, which I would say uh, laughter is the opposite of depression. Comedy, I suppose such as these zombies banging on these doors, is the bane of my existence. I'm looking for a blacksmith. And, uh... I haven't really paid attention to comedy so much lately. Probably mostly due to the fact that I no longer watch television, as that would take up far too much time I could spend playing Minecraft. And, uh... Pretty much the only place that I see very much comedy, other than YouTube nowadays, is, uh, was the television, and there's no, there's no blacksmith here. Nope, there is not. Uh, well, we'll go find another NPC village in this direction. Uh, at this point... I've stopped leaving the cobblestone breadcrumb trails. Uh, I know it's sloppy, but uh, I have obsidian and flint and tinder. I can find my way back to the Flat World HQ if I need to. Right now I'm going to find my way to another NPC village. Once again, there is a NPC village. I think at this point, and this is more of a, a uh, note to myself, but I'm going to stop acknowledging the uh, the discovery of these NPC villages as I think at this point is fairly redundant, and it's a personal displeasure of mine of being redundant or repeti re repetitive. Yes, that's the word. And my favorite comedian would have to be George Carlin. Uh, or was, I suppose. I haven't really picked a... I don't really have a comedian who I would pick who's currently alive to be my favorite. Uh, needless to say, if you're familiar with George Carlin, he's fairly dirty and uh, coarse. Abrasive comedy, I would say. But uh, nonetheless, very humorous to me. 
And uh, I do like Dimitri Martin. He's he, normally prop commodity. Uh, is not that great. Uh, Carrot Top comes to mind as an example of why prop comedy isn't particularly great, but uh, Dimitri Martin makes prop comedy hilarious, quite notably with his drawings and his giant notepads. And there's once again no blacksmith. That sucks. Sigh. We'll uh, go this direction this time. And I do realize there's the possibility that now that I'm just sort of going whatever direction I feel like going on whim, that I might end up stumble upon the same NPC villages. But uh, I don't think it's that big of a risk. At one point, uh, I would almost have considered... Oh, you gotta be crapping me. Okay, this, <laughs> I can see my sloppy ways have come back to bite me in the posterior. Well, shit. I have most definitely been here. And I can see where I've deviated from going in a continual path. Now, have I been here in this video? I couldn't have been. I, I didn't see any blacksmiths in the previous villages. Go ahead and check this chest regardless. Why not? I would not say that an apple is useless. Well, I'm going to go this way. And not particularly far from uh, where I was just at is this. I'm pretty sure I haven't been here. Now, and before, I was going to say, uh, after George Carland died, uh, I at one point would have considered Bill Maher to be my next favorite living comedian. But uh, he got kind of stale for me fairly quick, considering his uh, comedy. And oftentimes, I wouldn't even particularly call it comedy as much as it's humorous commentary, and that, that pretty much is what com comedy is, essentially, but I don't know. For me, it's almost like propaganda, how political he gets. And regardless of my political views, when I want to be entertained humorously, personally, uh, very heavy political uh, commentary that is satirical just is not what I'm looking for is what I'd say so I kind of fell off the wayside and just didn't find him to be particularly funny anymore especially when I realized I sort of had this revelation when he uh, he normally has this show I forget what it's called but, uh, which he has on t HBO. And he did a, a stand-up special, I think, two years ago, and this is when I realized I no longer found him funny, was his entire stand-up routine was all about politics, and quite a lot of it wasn't really jokes as much as he was just talking about how much he disliked an opposing political view, so I wouldn't even consider that to be comedy. Uh, I'm rambling. Let's move on. I'm not particularly familiar with uh, what new comedians there are lately that are gaining uh, popularity. Uh, mainly because, as I said, I don't watch a great deal of TV. In fact... I would say I would say that I watch perhaps 15 minutes worth of television each week and that's accounted for when I happen to be in a room that a television is on 
And quite often it's uh, local news or something, certainly not comedy. The only uh, comedians that I have seen lately, uh, none of which has been any new routines, uh, would be Nick Swartzen. Uh, let's see. Other people, honestly, who I think are very funny, but I can't for the life of me remember their names. I'm quite terrible with remembering people's names. Honestly, well, do I actually need this? No, I don't. At this point, I've uh, stopped placing down these breadcrumb trails. Oh, as I go. I'll put some here just so I know which direction I came into this village from, so I can continue traveling in a single direction. And I'm going to take shelter in the church here. So I'm going to end the video. We've gone through, I don't know, is this the fifth village? Quite unsuccessful in finding uh, blacksmiths that I have not already raided. Damn zombies. Okay, it's relatively safe. And... Not sure what I'm going to do. Well, I, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to continue to uh, record this series. And in all honesty, the, uh, the great luster that I had when I started this, uh, this challenge, is not quite there anymore. I don't hate it, obviously. If I hated it, I would have quit making these videos. I would say I would sort of do something sort of an announcement saying this is going to be the last video I, I don't like this anymore and I'm not going to do it but I'm going to continue mostly because at this point I feel as though I have made a challenge for myself and I want to build that Menger sponge and I believe it'll be worth it to continue to com continue to uh, work against this challenge, the Super Hardcore Flat World Challenge. I don't, uh, it's probably going to mean going into the nether and doing a few more time-lapse videos of me killing a large quantity of uh, zombie pigmen, as that is, without a doubt, the fastest way to collect the the uh, gold nuggets to craft into ingots and I don't I, I hope those uh, those time-lapse the time-lapse that I've done once so far wasn't irritating I'm not quite sure how uh, how easy on the eyes uh, time-lapsed footage of the nether is especially rapidly moving around in combat uh, it didn't bother me any, but I have yet to receive any complaints. Not that I am counting on there not being any. But that's all for now. Thanks for watching, and there will be more Super Hardcore Flat World Challenge to come.